Hello, greetings, welcome to another edition back out mail detecting today with the Days 2. I'd like to introduce you to this brand new permission. It's a, it's a, it's a hall ground, a Georgian hall ground. Can't really show you the house for uh, obvious reasons. So yeah, I'm really, really excited by this. It's taken me a while to get the permission and uh, yeah, I'm here today. Small bit of land, but it's, you know, it's exactly what I look for. So let's see what we can find. This is my first signal on the new hall ground. The Sensi FT, it's coming in 86, sounds deep-ish, small enough to be a coin or a button, let's have a look. I know there are a lot of people who are fans of the scenery in my videos and it doesn't get much more scenic than this. Really is a fabulous location. Ugh. That's not good. God, it's one of them, a wing nut. Bloody hell after all that. I've had a couple of bits of scrap, but this is my next signal that I enjoy. 88. Faint, high pitched, small. It's got to be a coin, hasn't it? Like that. Sounds sweet. Well, I've opened it up, and unfortunately, it's that. It's a bit of copper scrap. Never mind. So the only things I've found up to now, bits of lead and a couple of bits of scrap. I've not had a notable find yet until now. Um, this looks interesting, it looks lead, it looks old, it looks round, it looks patterned. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited by this. So yeah, I'll spin you around, let's have a look. It was coming in solid 80. Five, six inches deep, something like that. And I think this looks cool. Very cool. Perfectly round. Sure, there's a pattern on there. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to give this a clean up, and I'm going to come back to you. Well, I've cleaned her up, and as you can see, I was wrong. There's nothing on that at all. It's just a round piece of lead with a hole in the middle, probably Victorian, if that, because it's too round. Yeah, if anyone might know what that could have been, drop us a comment. Well, was not having much joy whatsoever on the uh, the bit of park land in front of the manor house, so I uh, decided to have a look around the back because she's got this beautiful big hillside behind me. It's absolutely magnificent. It's very steep, very warm. Not ideal for a uh, big lump like me, but this is my kind of terrain. This is what I do. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, have a look on this glorious hillside and see if I can find some stuff. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to have to ride it off. Well, I finally found a coin. It was a solid 87. Sounded just like that. I opened it up to be greeted by a bit of an imprint just there. And I'm guessing there's going to be a coin in here. And judging by the imprint, it's a big penny, George V. 
Hmm? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's George Six, Mr. Side Martin, look. Yep, first coin of the day on this brand new hall ground permission and it's taken me an hour. What the landowner didn't tell me is there is an old footpath running up the side of this field, which is heavenly for me. And this is a, my next target. It's a solid 82 look. Could it be a Victorian penny or is it just junk? I do love the summer months, I love being out in it, but man, it can be hot. And when you're metal detecting, it gets really hot, really tiring. The scenery is stunning, so it's worth it. Don't need to be a genius to work out, there's been a coin here. We've got lovely dark grey soil. There's been a coin ball there and it's fallen back out into the hole. You can see it. It's a half penny and it's George V. So that's two coins in, in only a few minutes since changing fields. Yep, cool, couple of pre-decimal. Off the footpath, I've now had coin number three inside only a few minutes, and it's another George V half penny. There he is, me boy, George V. Can't quite see the date, but it'll be early 1900s. Yeah, let's keep going. Three coins. There's got to be some silver pre-decimals on here for sure. I'm confident this is another pre-decimal coin. Big penny probably. Big fat solid 82. It's not deep. It's not big. Just the right size to be a coin, that. Let's get into it. Let's have a look. Already see grey soil, coin ball, imprint, everything you need to know, all the evidence. We've got a coin. Look at the imprint that on that. That has got to be another big penny. We've got a Victoria, Queen Victoria one this time, of nice veil head. That's going to be about bang on 1900. 1899 look yeah cool happy with that love a vicky Well, while I was filming a bit of B-roll, picked up one there and one here. Two very coin-like signals. Let's have a look. Telling you right now, this path is going to be littered, and I mean littered with coins. I've dug them both out. It's been a coin ball there. We've got the dark grey soil. And we've got yet another big penny. I'm gonna clean these up after and show you. This is the second one. Again, you can see where the coin ball was. Dark grey soil. And we've got another one. Big penny, look. George V. Right, let's get these cleaned up. As you can see, King George V. 1936 in one of the holes and the second one was Mr Baldy, Edward the Seventh, 1908 I'm getting ready now for that high-pitched silver sweet tone this is signal number three banging 87 gotta be another coin on it
Well, I think it is. Oh, there we go. Another imprint. Yet again, another pre-decimal. This time, it's Mr. Side Parting, George the Sixth, like the first one we found. Let's keep going. Still dominating this footpath. I had a 53 on the surface. I pulled it out of my fingers and it was a 5p. About to walk away, and then there was an 82 underneath it. And we've got George the Fifth, half penny, to go with all the other pre-decimals. Tell you what, after my slow start this morning, I'm starting to have a really good time. I'm enjoying being here, probably going to be getting a tan, pouring with sweat, crawling with flies, but yeah, I'm having a good time and I'm finding coins now. Surely it's only a matter of time to find a little bit of silver. Next up, solid 78, crisp, clear, repeatable. I've got an imprint there. We must have a coin in there. Oh, look at that, it's Edward the Seventh again. Another old pre-decimal. Yeah, like that. Finds pod is filling up fast today, now. Solid 86 from only one or two inches down. And we've got a brown pound. I'll be going to the bank with all the others I've got. One bam, thank you ma'am. This is probably the best signal I've had so far. 89.90. To me, it'd be nice if it was silver, but I reckon that's gonna be a threepenny bit or an Elizabeth II half penny. But let's go with threepenny bit. Getting a little bit cloudy. I'm hoping the sun will disappear and it will cool down and I'll stop sweating. Right on it. Oh God, it's a modern one pence piece. Spendable, should have known. Well, would you Adam and Eve it? That is a silver sixpence, believe it or not. It is in one of the worst states I've ever seen, but I think a good soak in lemon juice will bring that out. Have a listen to this. It was coming in a solid 83. I'm nearly at the top of the path. Very, very, very hungry here. I'm going to show you this. Full length of the pinpointer. Have a look at this George third half penny. Look at the colour of it. It's brown. I don't think I've ever seen one come out of the ground this colour before. It's, it's, it's as if it's made of iron. Look at how crusty it is. God. It's got all its thickness and all its weight, but unfortunately, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's brown and crusty and irony. Well, I've not filmed anything for about half an hour now. I've been digging up uh, modern coins, more pre-decimals, buttons, just the same usual stuff, so I've not been showing you that, but I've got to the top of the hill. I've got a faint 94 here. I've had a few 94s already and they've been two Ps, but this one's deep. So let's see. Might possibly be under a rock. Let's get in there, let's get stuck in. Oh yeah, it's not under the rock. Oh, 
nearly. It is partly under the rock. I'm going to have to move it. Whoa. Oh my god. I will put the rock back afterwards. Oh. Got a big imprint there. Oh. Is that too big to be a penny? I'm not sure. It's going to be in here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've got a George the Third half crown here. Oh my god, and it's in absolutely brilliant condition. Oh, the weight of that is unreal. Oh my god. I've not hit it with my spade either. Look at the colour of it. Oh my god, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm going to go and clean this in that little stream thing I found earlier on. But look at that. Huge silver. 18, 19. That is incredible. There we go. Into the water we go with the big silver George the third half crown. Oh my god, it's so heavy. I'll tell you what, that water is cold. Oh, okay, there he is, look, he's coming through. Just have a butchers at that. Look at that beautiful tone. I mean, that is in pretty decent condition. It's a little bit worn, you know, on his hair, but that is by far my best ever George III half crown. Well, I've only ever found one other and that was worn smooth. I tell you what, I'm so chuffed with this. Huge silver, it's got such a good weight to it. Well, I'll tell you what, I can pretty much guarantee that half crown will have come from somebody at the, who lived at the hall ground a couple hundred years ago, because that, you know, poor people don't carry those things around. That is, that is a, a wealthy person's coin, and I'm right chuffed. I'm right at the top of the hill here, I've got a glorious view looking down. Can't show you, but uh, yeah, I'm buzzing now, absolutely buzzing. Big old silver. We're gonna have a look at this one. Look at that, 93. It's clean, it's faint, 94, 95, it's deep. Oh yeah, that could be something good. Of course it could be a copper coin, but it could be silver and it could be old. Right in the middle of the footpath. Oh, let's get in there. Of course it could be a two pence piece, but it's a bit deeper than the modern stuff I've been finding. You just never know in this hobby. Deep. Oh, you get. It's a George Third half penny. Still, it's a big old copper coin. But that could have been something amazing. Never mind. We don't mind. We don't mind. Well, that's it. That's me done for today. It started off slow. It started off very slow. Changed fields and things started picking up. I was pulling up the pre-decimals. I knew it'd be uh, a matter of time before I had a bit of silver and I had the sixpence and then I got to the top of the hill and I found the rich man's George the Third half crown, which is unreal. It's cleaned up lovely. Nice tone on it. So yeah, uh, it's been a very, very good recce on this new permission. 
And I can see myself coming back here very, very soon because this footpath is going to be littered with lots and lots of more pre-decimal coins. So, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you don't, think about doing so because I really appreciate it. Thank, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts because I respond to everybody's comment. Thank you to Regtons. Thank you to David Pedley. And thank you to bloody Nora. Thank you to Noble MDT. Peace. on is with a bit of salt and pepper, can't beat it. Bit warm. The silver sixpence was an absolute nightmare to clean. I spent about five days in uh, in total in lemon juice. One side cleaned up okay. The other side was really, really stubborn. Uh, but uh, yeah, after after four or five days, I managed to eventually uh, get the crud off with a cotton bud, and it cleaned up. It cleaned up nice. And um, so yeah, 1920 George V, 50% silver sixpence. Got to be happy with that. Nice little find. And here's the rest. Um, what a busy field that was. There was signals all over the place. Buttons, coins, uh, lead artifacts, modern spendables. I got my big silver coin, George III, half crown. Super happy with that. Um, yeah, the uh, the weights off the rabbit nets. Yeah, it was just a brilliant, brilliant day out. There are people out there who've been sending me money via PayPal and I'm so, so grateful. Uh, it's been so useful to me. So if, if anyone else wants to support the channel, you can go to my homepage and click here, buy me a coffee. Any money that comes in this way will go straight back into the channel, whether it's for recording equipment, t-shirts, other stuff like that. I'm so, so grateful for, for everybody's support. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.